All right, guys, today's video I want to show how I made this DIY rail planter out of a few things that I had lying around. So let's get started. First things first, you're going to want to measure your railing. So the width of my railing was three and a half inches and the height was one and a half inches. And I knew I wanted the planter to be three feet in length. I wanted to have a base for the planter that was twice the width of the railing, but didn't have it. So I had to improvise. So I'm going to be cutting six pieces of wood at three feet in length each. The dimensions are exactly the same as the width and the height of the railing. Next, I'm going to be gluing those six pieces into pairs just like this, which will shape the base and two of its sides, which will be a total of seven inches in height. Then I'm going to be using some furring strips to drill into each of the two pieces of wood to give it a tighter hold. As you can see now I have two sides and the base. Note that the furring strips on the base are bottom facing and is only going to be used temporarily while I piece everything together. Now I'm going to be gluing the two side pieces to the base. As the glue is drying, I cut two 4x7 inch squares for the remaining two sides. Then I'm going to drill all sides, including the base, into the square, and then removing all the furring strips from the base. So here's a planter facing upside down. I've removed the furring strips, as I previously mentioned, that were holding the base together. And now I've added two longer furring strips running parallel lengthwise. The distance between the two are three and a half inches, which is the width of the railing. I've also drilled three drainage holes at the bottom of the base. So these two furring strips are used to hold the planter onto the railing. If you have a narrow railing, you will need to use a longer furring strip. Then I've added these eye hooks and rope to be used as a handle so that I can move the planter around where I see fit. Since this planter is only going to be used for pollinator friendly plants, I could place them closer to my raised beds, which will attract bees and help with pollination. Now all that's left to do is fill the planter up with soil and get to planting. And for reference, this planter held about three to four gallons of soil. And that's today's video guys. It was a pretty short video. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much how I made my DIY rail planter. Let me know down in the comments what you think I should plant that will bring the most pollinators. And before I end this video, I want to thank my grandma for propagating this aloe vera plant for me. I love you grandma. Te quiero mucho. And for everyone, remember, you won't get a harvest if you don't sow seeds. You guys in the next one. Were meant to lock lips You knock me out with the brass knuckle tats on your hips I was on his website late night lurking When I got a message from you that was labeled urgent You said that you